Hey fellow glitchers, you guys just keep amazing me. I remember when I just started out. I just figured I'd post some Smash Bros glitches just as I could. I remember posting my first video and it got like 8 views and I was like, meh. But then I checked one day and I had 223 subscribers and I was amazed. Then it got to the 1000 subscriber mark and I couldn't believe it. And now, 10,000 plus people are subscribed to my channel. So thank you. And to celebrate, I decided to showcase the most demanded game on this channel. Okay, not really, but this guy had a point. Fez. I love it. It's really given me a new perspective on things. Not to mention, the main character is wearing half of my name. If you really like puzzle platformers but haven't played Fez, and you're pretty touchy with spoilers, then you should go beat it real quick. I do give another alert right before the bigger spoilers in case you forget. Now, Fez is just pretty glitchy to start out with, but there's nothing really game breaking, except some infinite cube glitches which I believe have been patched. But that doesn't mean the glitches in this video are going to be boring, they're just not super big. To start off, get to the point where you receive the Fez that allows you to change your perspective. You literally did it within the first two minutes of gameplay. Once you get teleported to the room with the giant cube floating above you, wait until you gain enough control of Gomez to turn around. When the Fez comes down, it'll start to get put on the runway, but then it'll instantly flip around. By the way, I did this the first time I got to this part, so I thought that was pretty funny. Can't get enough of bombs? Well, then just pick one up a little after the response and you'll find it makes a copy of itself every time you flip. They're completely useless, so don't blow this out of proportion. The maximum amount of bombs visible on screen from one source is four. Two from picking it up, one from the first bomb, and the real one on the ground. If you hadn't noticed, flipping will erase all your bomb clones. So that's why you can only get four on screen. I'm sure you can stack an infinite amount of bombs on top of these two, but you just can't see them. I don't know what happened here, but Dot just appeared on the screen and then zoomed back to where he was. It was a pretty close call. In the library, there's a corner where you can grab an invisible ledge and even climb up on it. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. I would try to exploit this, but I just don't see any point in it. With this neat trick, you can make Gomez dance. Just hold left and keep tapping right. You move back and forth really quickly. It doesn't work the other way though. On any wall like this, grab the vines and flip around so you'll fall. Quickly turn around and grab the vines again. You'll grab the vines despite the fact that you're on the other side. You can't move, but just jump to get out of it. Get to a warp gate and use it right as you reach its edge while walking. You'll float away from the center and spin on the side. You're supposed to teleport in the middle, but if you want to be a rebel, just do that. If you've played this game for any good amount of time, you'll probably know that clipping out of bounds is nothing extraordinary. The easiest method of doing this is in the room right before the library. Get up on the raised part of the secret doorway, then flip. Just walk around and you'll go falling to your doom. It's as easy as that. This can be done in most closed rooms where an object is touching a wall. Just kind of flip back and forth and move towards the wall until you fall out. If you get stuck in an infinite loop, hold in the direction of the room and you'll spawn inside again. In this area, there's a room with bunk beds where you can flip out a bounce too. Just climb around so you're holding the ledge against the wall. If you fall right, you'll clip out of bounds. Just don't fall left. A similar glitch occurs when there's a gap in a wall. You usually find these with doors. Get yourself in this position and then flip. Walk into the gap and flip so you're facing the gap. If done correctly, you'll clip a little inside. Now walk forward and enjoy your secret fort. This one's really an inside joke. The moving blocks in this game can get really messed up. When you put two blocks like so, and then push another block towards them, you'll move one of them, but then clip through the other one. If you put a block against a wall, and then push it with another block, you'll see it disappear as it goes through the wall. If you try to climb up it, you'll get pushed out or teleport to the other side, depending on where you started. Flipping while standing on it can put you inside the ground. And just like the bombs, you can duplicate these as well. Sometimes, after leaving a room in this area, you'll see a big black box behind the door. It's pretty ominous. Here at the clock tower, you'll find this part where a cube spins around with vines on it. Wait until it's about to spin, and then jump off the edge. You shouldn't see it finish spinning. When you respawn, the vines that are now visible should mostly stay visible when it spins it in. 
This is also just a visual glitch, and it can't actually be climbed on. But it still looks cool. Before I continue any farther... When you beat the game once, you will not the first person view the glasses. It's pretty cool, but there are some weird things that can happen with the objects in the world. These aren't glitches, but I just thought I'd show them off. Give this episode a good twist. This fox is locked to the dog that it jumps over, so it moves a lot. And sometimes, it can be a little spooky the way they look at me. If you use it while in front of the door, you can see that the image of the world that Dot displays is flat. Another perk of having beaten the game once is the fact that at any given moment you have the ability to fly. Just tap up four times and hold the jump button. You'll go soaring. This isn't a glitch either, but there are some pretty funny things you can do with it too. First, you can cancel dying when falling by just tapping jump. You can see the bottom of every platform. If you use it under a black hole, you'll disappear, but you won't die. This works the same with the poison water, except you don't disappear. You can even sink forever in it by canceling your sinking animation by tapping jump. It takes a while to get really low, but after a time you'll eventually get down. If you get out of bounds on a closed room, and then float, you can get on top of it. You may think you're stuck, but just get in the middle of it, jump down, and flip when you get in the middle of it. When you try to float next to a vine, you'll just stop. One time I spazzed out while trying to grab a ledge. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you like glitches as much as me, give or take a little, then hit that subscribe button. But don't hit it too hard, you might break your string. My Facebook and Miiverse exist, but I honestly don't do much with them, they're just kinda there. But you can check them out anyways, 